realize the minutes just got handed to you. Um, I also emailed them to you so you have them that way, but I just did it literally 20 minutes ago. So, um, apologies on getting those so late. But that's going to be handled now because Charlotte has graciously agreed to take over the minutes duty so that you don't have to wait on me any longer. <laughs> I certainly appreciate that. So uh, we can take a minute to look at those, look those over. If you have any questions, any concerns on them, we can always amend those at the next meeting since they just got handed to you. Uh, I just tried to cover the gist of it. Roger, I didn't know, didn't know if you had a chance to see the video, but it was a very productive meeting that we had last uh, last month. Pretty pretty exciting. All the things that we talked about. So any questions or comments on that? If you like, I said if you. Were you going to updates on them? I'm sorry? I said, are you going to go through for updates on each of these? or Go through for updates. Well, just like, I was just going to let, I made Krista an admin on the Facebook yeah, page. Yeah, you should say that on there. Well, I said we'll include, I'm just confirming. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that just uh, minutes. Um, Charlotte, Char is also an admin on that. Anybody else that wants to be an admin on that just needs to send me a message and approve you or whatever. Okay. Of, of the committee, so just send me a message and I'll do it. Okay. Any other thoughts on this? I've been playing with logos and I actually threw one up there to figure out if anybody saw it. Yes, I saw the one. Uh, we'll talk about that here in just a bit. It was just a first quick stab at it, just to get it something besides the, the generic font that we're using. Right. So. Okay. I had asked somebody to work on it as well, but I haven't gotten anything back from them yet. So. Yeah. I didn't really work that long. This was just like a first. Is this on Facebook? Do you want to bring that up? Yeah. Logo development takes some time. Okay. So on the agenda, everything, any, anything else? Any other comments on minutes? We'll move on to the past that. Again, like I said, if you notice anything that you need to add or change later on, just let me know. We can amend them and talk about them again next month or next meeting. Um, the use survey questions. So we've got through all three, the, the RDC, the City Council, and the EDC, and I've got those here. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't had, a time, haven't had much time to go through and, and uh, uh, look at all the answers yet. Um, in fact, we just received our last one today, so I can pass those around and take a look at them. What I'd like to do is uh, get compile those so we can see a cumulative answer, uh, you know, the answers that we're getting on each question, and go from there. It's the default photo, so you can just hit the default photo. Just the one on there. I can put up a bunch more. Pretty good response for the... Uh... Uh, we didn't get a 100% response, um, but we did... Uh, we did get most of them, I think, um, and I think it's going to lead us to, you know, they're all over the map, though, from what I've seen on how they want them, what information they want and how they want it. They're all over the place, so it's going to be fun to actually put those in and, and see the weight of each one to see where we need to go. But I'll pass them around so we'll take a look at them. do you think we got back? Well, we're missing two city council who didn't do it. Um, Which two? Avon and Hoagland didn't get theirs back to us. And RDC, we've got, of course, RDC, two of the members are city council members, so they didn't have to do it twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think we've got, we might get all of them. Okay. And then EDC, I think we uh, we, were, we would be missing, see, Austin would be a double, so we didn't have to do it again. Right. We've got Jake's. Jake and Lee. And Lee's. And John's. Yeah. So really just yeah. Tony's. So missing one. So oh, it's good. Not too bad. So I don't know if we can go much in, into detail. Like I said, we could pass those around so you can get an idea of those and make, make some copies so you can see them and then we can dig into those a little bit deeper as we start to look for um, the next step on the surveys, uh, which would be to go out to the wider public um, and also local businesses so we can see what type of questions we want to ask them on those. Mm -hmm. and add that up. Um, but we can only go as fast as we you know get the surveys back. So we got those so you know, so we got a place to go from there.
Uh, do you want to have any further discussion on those, or should we just get a compilation out to everybody? What do you think? Um, I just wondered if I have some extra copies, mm -hmm. and I didn't know if we just wanted to have those at the meeting tomorrow afternoon and Thursday night, just for anybody that attends mm -hmm. and might want to fill one out. Talk about the meeting. Uh, if you're not familiar with the meetings that are going to take place, Lisa, who was here at our first meeting to discuss the programming, she is doing two um, two meetings. One is tomorrow, and the other one is next Thursday. Uh, it's Thursday. It's Thursday. Uh, both downstairs at the uh, at the coffee shop downstairs, and it's just basically she's wanting to reach out to the public. You might have saw it in the paper uh, to get an idea of the programs that people are wanting to see uh, FTC be involved in and what's working, what's not. So I, I think it's a good idea to have those down there. Um, so it, when we go to the public, I'm anticipating that we might have more questions to ask, but this is a good start to get some of that information, I think. <coughs> it's free and it's available. I'll make sure I've got plenty of copies of And if any of you want to, want to attend that, please do. I will not be able to make it. It will be at a, another function tomorrow, but if anybody would like to attend that, please do. Do we have had RSVPs on those? Or I didn't really ask for RSVPs. Um, I I really directed the, I mean, I sent the email to, I made sure that all the spokes in the wheel were represented, basically, and then kind of just my address book, really. <laughs> so, I mean, I've gotten, actually, a lot of people did reply. I didn't ask for RSVPs, but I have gotten a lot of responses that people are going to be there. So I think it'll be pretty well attended. Good. I mean, maybe not. I think because we're doing them at different times of the day. Some are at, one is at three and one is at six to try to catch everybody. And so, you know, capture. I just uploaded a bunch of variants of that onto the page if you, if you want to look at it. Okay. Um, so, just now. So, and some of them are easily dismissed. I just put them all up. So, but it's all variants of that same premise. Um, the idea behind that was those are actual uh, printing tiles used in a printing press that you know are obviously backwards when you look at them when they print forward. So I use it just you know the whole Franklin use a printer type of concept. And uh, so I that, so we'll take a look at that and the other ones here in just a just a moment. We'll get to that section. Any other uh, thoughts or questions on the roof on the survey questions? Are you gonna, do you want? Do you need somebody to tally those, or what? If, if, the if someone step? wants to volunteer to do that, well, that would be probably, great. I mean, I'm not going to do it personally, but I can probably find somebody to do that. That's great. Because we're yeah. relying on me on that right now for this month is, is a bad proposition. <laughs> do you feel like that once we review these surveys, we should tailor a whole separate set of other questions for the general public? I think that's a discussion that we need to have. My my vision was that we would probably have additional questions that we want to, want to ask based off of some of these responses, but that's not a given. I'm open to certainly any suggestion that the committee comes up with as a whole. Just cut and paste the notes and uh, and the the links 
we can just post to the YouTube on there. Um, you send those out in emails, that's right, so I can, I can get them, I'll just get them shown up. You just, if you wanted to send me a separate email, hey, this is what I want on the Facebook, I'll put whatever you want on the Facebook. If you want the link to the YouTube up, I'll put it up. Make sure it's all cleaned up, looks right, uh, it's embedded. And then as well, um, like the notes, I can list them as notes on there as opposed to just a post. We have to scroll and find. So, and so Krista and Ronnie and Angie, send it to Brian. I'll get it up. It, it, it's, it's literally a, a two minute thing for me on my phone. <laughs> on the surveys before we move on. Okay, we'll get all that done then and, and uh, move on. Update on the new website. So Angie's been and Ronnie have both been working on this. So let's see what you got. It's very preliminary because we were started the more time we spend on it, we're like, how much time do we spend on it before we don't know what programming is going to be, we don't know. Sure. Um, so. So we just took, right now it's just a slideshow, but we can make it a video that'll just loop on the front with all the pictures. Um, we just went around and got some before is the projects that are going on right now, and then we grabbed a couple of afters that um, we had real easy to grab. Um, we had a programs button where you could list residential and commercial. We didn't put anything on there. We thought that would be a good place to put the tip map and explain what that is and how that affects um, people. Um, under success stories, that's where we would do like the summary. The summary of the projects summary. that have already happened and do a couple pictures with it. The photo gallery, the way that they have it set up, you can set up albums. Um, so we could have, we could do it however we wanted. I just did one so you could see kind of how it's set up, but <clears throat> But you could do it like by project or if you want to do befores and then afters or however. By program mm -hmm. address. Yeah, I, I mean, we, program, could, maybe. we could do it anyway. But then it just, it, We'll have them all where you can go through. You can add captions and everything else with them. And if you click on a picture, will it open up a page that tells you about that project itself? Or? It can. You can add whatever you want to the picture. So it'll enlarge it, and then you can put captions and post whatever with it. <coughs> nice. Um, meeting room, we figured that's where you'd have like all your, the links to your agendas, to the meeting minutes, to the financials, um, all of that kind of stuff. Calendar, you can have it set up. Um, it's a full page, so you can like that. Um, so and then you, yeah, yeah the you can, meetings, you you can, can put committees to it. Mm -hmm. And just click on the link. And yeah, and then we can put whatever, there's also a map attached to it, so if you click on it, it takes you to Google Maps. Where it's at. Nice, nice. I like the, the display of a full calendar. Mm -hmm. um, about, we just put a brief, they meet on a monthly basis, and then the mission statement for it, um, and then the contact form. It's just set up with your basic information, you have a map of where it's located, and then a simple form that people can fill out and send. And the other something. things we can put in about would be like the board members and the committee members and we just didn't finish all of it because we want to make sure you guys were happy with the start before we spent hours and hours. And you probably saw my uh, message shortly after our last board meeting uh, when we went over the, the uh, report. It went over really well. I think everyone was really excited by um, the activity. It did get approved that we were shutting down the old service, going with the new service. Um, so it's, it's full steam ahead and it's on our shoulders to what we want to do to it. So we'll just give them regular updates from now on. 
Uh, the same with the uh, logo, we haven't got to that point yet, but uh, the board also agreed with us that the uh, logo was pretty uninspiring and um, gave us some steam to get, move forward with it. Of course, we'll, when we come up with that, that'll be a, uh, obviously a vote, vote by the, uh, the board as a whole, but they certainly gave us their uh, head nod to move forward with uh, development on that. So what are, you, what are your thoughts on the, uh, on the website so far? Pretty darn nice. Looks good. We just went with a real clean, simple look. Um, That's perfect. The themes are really easy to change, so if it's something that we have up for a little bit and you get tired of it, it's really easy to change. Content People like theme. repetition, though. So, so that's the home page right there? Mm -hmm. Can you scroll down? Yeah. And once and you like, add the new logos and stuff like that, it'll yeah, and like right, better. It that, would, that would be a scrolling right. thing. Right now, we just did it as a slideshow. Mm -hmm. But um, This is our free trial yeah. deal. Because okay. <laughs> to add video and that, that's when you have to start paying. We want to see what everyone wanted before we got into it. What information do we want to see underneath the, that scroll? Anything? The scrolling pictures. Uh, underneath the scrolling pictures, there's. Well, they got. Where are you going to put uh, links to social media? Because I think that needs to be up front. I would be on the yeah. right there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I would like that needs to be very prominent because people will go there. It's when. It, it, the window of uh, somebody's attention span with stuff like this is very small. So we want it right there, right away, so they immediately click on it, they immediately hit like, so now we have a constant connection with them. They'll get our feed, our, our, our source feeds and stuff like that. Whether it be Facebook, Twitter, whatever. I think with, especially uh, Pinterest is a good one for this one just because of the project pictures that we have and stuff that you guys are putting up as well. You know, taking before and afters and all, all different photo collages of just Franklin. The idea is to sell Franklin not just to the people within our community, but as well to those outside of our community to relocate their residents or business businesses here in Franklin. So I would, if you can, you put them up towards the top, off to the right or the left. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what your what the format dictates. And then obviously that's just my. Suggestion is up to everyone else to agree upon that. It's my slow. She has a Mac, and this is not a Mac. Oh, so. uh, yeah. Sure. I mean, you don't have to do it right now. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's really easy. We can drag and drop stuff wherever. And I'll get in, in before next meeting, I'll make a point of getting a Twitter account set up and all the other social medias, and then I'll make sure that uh, you and uh, Krista both have access to them, and then you guys can disseminate to everybody else. So. And we did not end up going with Squarespace. We ended up there were a couple of things that you guys had requested that were not we couldn't do with it. So. Yeah, we started messing with it more, and then we found this one. It's through webs.com, webs.com. Um, it's about the same price. It might actually be a little cheaper. When it just depends when we get into it, what we pick. Um, it's around sixteen. Yeah. I was wondering, do we want to go ahead and um, I don't. And being very ignorant of this, I reserve the name developfranklin.org and .com so that, you know, while we're working on this, nobody, I mean, do we want to get this published? So. I, gonna, I would really like to, if we're going to take the other one down, I would, I would definitely the, jump even on Even if it's it. super basic, I'd like to have something. And, you know, you can reserve a web domain and put up a simple one page for like 10 bucks a year. GoDaddy. I would get all of them that relate dot com dot net and then have them redirect to the yeah. org because people are going to put in the wrong one right. and we also don't want cyber squatters. Yeah. Somebody, if I own XYZ remodeling yeah. construction business down here, I'm thinking when we have the yeah. dot org, the dot com is a logical right. mm -hmm. jump on, so we might want to 
nav on your basic ones. Dot viz or whatever. It's a small expense to pay. Website that we were looking at earlier today that had like blocks, and we thought we would do like the programs, the meeting room, and do like a big block that had like a little description and read more and click here that would take it to that page. But we can, I mean, we can set it up however people have. No, one thing I would really like to see because <coughs> oftentimes when you look at a person's home page, it never changes, so it doesn't make people want to come back to it. I would like to see a lead article, if you will, that changes at least on a, on a monthly basis. And it might be, hey, this project, like my thought was, you know, the project down at the uh, end of Monroe Street, that, you know, putting that up there because that's such a dramatic change and, you know, that could be a, a lead story for, for a month or a couple weeks or whatever. And then we switch it to another project that's recently finished or that's just getting started or something along those lines. One of the things you can do, Jim, is you can embed instead the news feeds that come from the Facebook page, whereas you or the board members or whatnot, you can up, just immediately upload an article like that and into the Facebook page, and it goes right, it's right there, it's embedded too. Right. It's, it makes it quite simplistic. I mean, you can do it on the fly. You could, you could take a picture and write a quick soundbite about something when you're out here at our little Grand Prix or whatever, and you, you know, and you see one of our projects in the background as a success. And, backdrop of Frank White. You can do anything you want with it, and you can do it on the fly, so you're not having to go there, having one of them go open up the website, download data. It's, it's just a thought. From a development perspective, is that something that you can, think you can... I'll have to play with it to see if this is, if we can do it on this one. Okay. So I'm into I don't know. Thing. I'm just wondering if there's anybody out there that's not on Facebook yet, you know, that will go to the website and not I totally go to websites. I hate Facebook. <laughs> you are actually it, do all my I do not. Yeah. Do all if my I really want research. to learn something, I would go to yeah. the website. You I know, the funny thing is, is I have multiple Facebooks that I take. It, we, I deal with multiple organizations that I consult with, over a dozen that I maintain their social media and everything. And I personally would love to kill mine. And I would love to throw my cell phone on my laptop in a creep. Uh, but the reality of it is you either embrace it or you face it. And people... The, the, the numbers dictate that people will go to Facebook and they will go to a website because of a link on Facebook. They will right. rarely say, what's your web address, and go directly to the web. But and if only they want to learn something, they'll go to the website. They'll go to the website. That's what from, I'm saying. If I want to really the, learn something, that's exactly. where all the real, the meat needs to be. And I that's where the that link Facebook, from you know? Facebook goes to the website. Yeah, they'll, right. go, they'll get to, the, they'll get to the, the website predominantly through Facebook, not the other way around. No, so. I get that, but I'm just saying if you want to learn something. But I think the content, like the financial reports and all that kind of stuff, that needs to be easily found on the website. Oh, That's absolutely. Right. Yeah. The website's a must, and, and Facebook needs to be a conduit to yeah. the website. Right. I agree with that. I just think that there doesn't need to be a whole lot of substance in Facebook. You might prompt people to go look at the website. Now there'll be a basic, hey, this is what we're doing, this and that, here's the updates, here's, here's, here's talking points. Um, I attribute, like, Definition wise, like the website is true marketing and information, where a Facebook's almost more into the realm of sales, which you're just initiating a conversation to get them to go to the meat of it, which is right. the, the website. That's, I think the we're saying the same thing. I just, for me, it's, I think that you don't have to add a whole lot, you just get people to look at your Facebook and then go to. Yeah. You, we need to put just enough in there to cause them to want to go to the website and get the rest. Well, that's for those before and after pictures. I mean, let's face it, we're, we're looking at things. We want to read content. I mean, I don't want to put glasses on all the time. I read Facebook. Right. Uh, it's those before and after flashes and boom, that we're doing here. Um, It'll redirect you to the website. Correct. I think one thing for a website, um, I'm, I'm with you about that. But one thing I do not like is I have to go searching and searching and searching for something. So something. I want to know when Heavy Trash Day is for Franklin. 
Have you ever tried to find that? It's not easy. It, I mean, you, you're searching all over. And I and if it involved with that, I do apologize. No, really. No, but, but I, it is. I'm only I mean, involved with people calling me nasty me. So. Right. And, and that, but, that's, and that, but that, that is and that's kind of a frustrating kind of after a while. It's like, you need to forget it. I'll wait till my next month's bill come and I can read it on the, on the band. And I was like, well, gee, let me get rid of that. You know, I have doing two electronic um, invoices anyway. But I, that was that's my whole thing is that we've got to keep it very easy to understand. I just wait till I see yeah, somebody else put the couch on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we were thinking is if we have, once you get into, we didn't want to put too many buttons because we heard you guys say that um, mm -hmm. up front. And then when you have a program button, inside that you'll have like, residential revolving loan fund but you click it all the project summaries will be in there so you can look at this this is right here you can pull those up and look at any of the addresses you want to but also under residential revolving loan fund it'll have the maybe the application it'll have a brief overview so just inside that anything you want to know about that fund or that program would be there so can we so, have a search um, feature on the home page where you can just type in a, a certain word and it might pull up Listing of this? Mm -hmm. Should be able to. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is what somebody looks at when they mm -hmm. click on a button because they're not going to have um, the FDC jargon underneath the picture on the website, right? It, like all this right here, or is that going to be on the these, website before these, they? These are the project on? summaries that um, our part-time person has. I'm just kind of started on showing you what they've been able to Which you use internally. pull yeah. from the and we can make it prettier, but the, these are just like the basic um, information um, for each project. As far as a caption or verbiage to go with the pictures, I think you just need a very yeah. simplistic. Right. And then, oh, this is not on the website right now. Yeah. <laughs> but when we, when it, like, there's just this the is what he, so these the, are the ones he's gotten done, and there's the question was them, about the scrolling not, pictures and what to put under them. I just think you know uh, just a small blurb about you know this is what it is, this is what we did, and uh, yeah, it was a success. How much we invested. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we invested. This is what we Yeah. yeah. Essentially, the before and the after. So these are the address and how that's, much money. That's what we told them. Like a brief summary of the improvements, um, if it's a loan or a grant, what the owner contributed. And, and as you can see, a lot of these are blank, so I'm going to have to go and fill these no, out. I, I think what would be a neat thing to add to <laughs> is, a, is an embedded YouTube link or something along those lines where we talk to some of the uh, project owners and just do a quick little video blurb with them saying, hey, this is how I went about it, and this is how it's helped, blah, 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 just quick two-minute shot. Yes, it was. I have to admit, though, I'm, I'm underwhelmed by what they did, though. I think it's definitely an improvement, but I think it could have been, could have been. Could have been a lot more. It looked very sterile to me. It looks like a new strip center to me. But I guess when you get strip center architects and co contractors out of Indianapolis, that's what you get. These are, yeah, I'm just kind of clicking through the ones that I'm not really sure what they are. Well, the project over years. at the um, the t-shirt place, yeah, the yeah. Sands is coming along, and their bricks starting to get exposed. It's mm -hmm. really yep. looking it's sharp. sharp. Mm -hmm. it's sharp. <laughs> sharp and sharp. Yeah. Well, I really like the direction that you've gone so far. It's, I mean, mm -hmm. even in its infant stages it's far more visual than what we yeah. got now by at these we just didn't want to put all these on yet because the they're not ready right yeah. to be honest there there's a lot of holes in real, these yeah. real quick because of that picture that was just popped up that whole thing fell by the wayside it did. and i got one real important question uh, where's the closest restroom <laughs> <laughs> sorry i just i hold the <laughs> Any other comments or direction? On right, so um, just on the pictures. Mm -hmm. So all that verbiage, um, the summary of improvements, the address, the money spent um, on the website, that's showing when you click on the picture, right? But the we can well, do it however. I would, yeah, we can do it however. I mean, because you can have, because there's a photo gallery, so that could be, if you click on a certain picture, it pulls that up, but then under the success stories, you can just have, like, where you scroll down and you see the projects and everything listed out. Okay. 
And then you can click on it and see this type of. Well, because, I think that, like, with, yeah, I don't, I think we might need it to go both ways. Like, in the photo gallery, go from picture, because that's what that's you want really to see, one. right? I think, I think, uh, like, just for the photos, I think it just needs to be the business name for the okay. caption. Okay. And then when you click on it, you have the rest of the yeah, information, because right. otherwise in your website it'll be like, yeah. Oh, yeah, we were making, the photos will just be photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there won't be all of the, what, file number and oh, everything yeah. about it. Okay. But if you want to know more, as, like, the board members, that's, they're kind of looking for, mm -hmm. I would like to go somewhere and be able to say, we put this much money in this project, and the homeowner put this much money in the project, and that's what we're trying to get, but, but that won't be up front. And, and from my perspective, when, like, I get a lot of questions about, I had one today, I had several yesterday, you know, well, how did they get, you know, I heard this, whatever, I heard they got a grant, and they got this, and so I do think that maybe we need to have an explanation of what the programs were, even now, so that people can say, because even on the current website, there's no explanation of their request for proposals, like, yeah, yeah. and so people are, are a lot, and they're very confused, and they're, they get kind of angry with me when I say, you know, the maximum facade grant is $50,000, and it's a one-for-one -one match. Well, how'd Just Street Pub get $200,000 then? Well, it was through the RFP process, and I had to explain that every time. And so if we could maybe dispel some of that on the website, that would be helpful. Should we, should we have a disclaimer that kind of says, please note that each and every case is well, an individual case, and, <laughs> what I was thinking, and the funding can vary? But what I was thinking is under programs, like here, if you click on programs, like there would say... Um, it would say residential, it would say, maybe it's, we maybe we just word that differently. So it would say, you know, request for proposals is one of those categories. The downtown facade matching grant is one of those categories. And then, you know, we could have a headline, you know, current news, you know, programs currently suspended, blah, 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 until future funding or... Or go with more, you know, instead of suspended, negative, yeah, or deposit, just right. say, you know, uh, new parameters of yeah. rules as of, and then put the date dictated by board of directors, some of that effect. That way, they, they, and you yeah. easy, that way it'll help answer simple. Well, that's how they used to it. This is what we're doing now because, because that program didn't really work most well. Of the, most of the calls that I get are just what what programs do you offer? I mean, that, they just want to know how do I get how do I get that? <laughs> how do I do? How do they get that? Well, I want that. You know, and so it's yeah. like if we could, well, we could do an FAQ. Too. I mean, if that's if you could come up. Well, with I mean, I was thinking under the request for proposals, I mean, really all you have to say is there was, you know, one round of proposals in 2012, mm -hmm. and these are the projects that were funded, and there was one round of proposals in 13, and these are the project proposals, and we don't know if and when there's going to be another round. Right. I mean, that's really all. What about a page that is kind of like a form filled where it starts out, "Are you eligible?" and then they answer some questions. They just, you know. Put a dot in the in the thing, and then that will tell them here's the program that you would be eligible for, or you know something like that, and that would just direct them right to it. So they. I think that would get to the map. That would be the good the once GIS we get activity. the program back going again. I guess. Right. So right now, I don't want people to think that there are programs. Right. Because they. Know that's the, the other thing is they call me and they're like, "What do you mean there? I can't apply." And I'm like, "Well, I mean, we don't have any money. That's what I mean. I mean, I don't know." <laughs> Take your application. Well, for now, we can just share that, that type of information. And, mm -hmm. and that's something that we can look at. How, do you, how do you get their applications? Do you get they, usually, I just meet with people, whether it's at their business or they call me and they just they say, you know, hey, we've got projects and we want to know more about your programs. And I say, well, these are the standing programs, but, you know, programming is, you know, due to lack of funds currently on hold and I'm taking applications, but. I don't know exactly if it's going to be three or six months until so you take programs hard, are refunded. So you take hard copy of applications and then you go through the hard copy applications with your board mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if there, you could put the application online. Oh, it is. And then, okay. And then. But it needs all the. I mean, they're all going to. Yeah. We don't want to do all that because they're going to be redone. Yeah. I mean, they're not. Well, the programs might change. Do you want to be taking applications if you don't have programs? Or if they're totally outside. My struggle is with them understanding the geographic boundaries. Um, that map without, is really critical. Yeah. I'm not really with um, somebody that was two properties away 
from being eligible. And they were not very happy with me. Like you made the rules. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's your fault. That's the hard part is the, does Krista want to get 50 applications and only two of them are even eligible geographically where if they called her first then... They so pre-qualify themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It takes a lot of grief off your plan. So for now, can we put something up there that says, you know, currently programs are on hold. If you fill out this basic information, we'll we put you in the queue, and then once programs are available, we will send you a message yeah, saying, a this yeah. is a, you know, Because I kind of, I kind of have a, my own little file. When people call me, I, you know, stuff the message in there and say, okay, once we get more money, I'm going to have to call these people back. Right. And say, it's on. Yeah. Oh, there's a demand for it. It's yeah. just that probably the most frustrating part is explaining that, you know, what the standing programs are that are on hold <laughs> versus those requests for proposals projects because they're, they don't meet the eligibility of the programs and people get very angry that they can't get that same deal. Right. And, we, and, and I understand. Might be a, you know, on the length of the RP, that might just be the explanation that there was two rounds of RFPs and there aren't going to be any more. There aren't, there, there aren't any more RFPs yeah. planned at this time. I mean, because I understand that they were, what they were trying to do by having those rounds of proposals and trying to get programs that were bigger and outside the standing programs, but really it just made people mad, to be perfectly honest, because it was, well, how'd, they get, how'd they get that deal, and now I'm, you know, well, I missed it six weeks too late, and, and when are you going to have it again? You just have to figure out a very kind source of verbiage that dictates, you know, I mean, they're not giving the same interest rates at, right. at banks right now. Exactly. They're not giving the same interest rates on car loans right now. They're not getting, There's a lot of things. I, I mean, there's no point in having a savings account in the bank anymore. The interest rates are like 0, .0. Yeah. Um, Things change, and, and, and but that doesn't mean they won't change back. It's mm -hmm. just currently, this is yeah. where it sits. And I, I mean, even for now, you know, I don't know that it really makes sense to explain what the programs were. We could even just say programming is currently undergoing analysis and when new programming is funded it will be announced I mean, I don't, I think that's good. you know I mean because people get to the currently they get to the website and they print off their applications and they bring them into me and they're all excited and I'm like oh, and maybe at that money. point we also <laughs> give them the link that they have ideas on what <laughs> programming should they can and I do still encourage them to submit them because I want to know what the demand is right so we know what money to ask for sure um, so Taking applications, but currently not in a position to yeah. hire. It's like I get out from my business all the time. Where it, people are like, are you, are you guys taking applications? I'm like, well, we always take applications. You know, I like right. to have as many as possible <laughs> in the pool. You know, but currently we're not hiring for your position. But but that could change tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and put your application. In. So for our website, we're kind of at that chicken and egg question right you're at right now with the program, and we're going right. to just uh, wait and see on that. But the things that we can control are the uh, past projects and things like that that you're already working on. So, the uh, in the calendar mm -hmm. and, and those type of things. So, if we can continue to populate that, I think we're on the right track. And then, as we get information from Lisa and the programming committee, that might give us a little bit clearer direction on how we can best address those. But I'm all for going ahead and, and closing the other one down completely, getting even the basic skeleton up, even if we just have all over it that, you know. Not only is the website under construction, but the FTC is under construction as well. And look for exciting things to come. I think what Ryan said about the FAQs, that might not be a, a bad a area that where you can keep positive verbiage and you don't have to go into it. Well, it might be, I guess you can take it several ways. You know, that, that regarding Project A was eligible yes. for so much, Project B is not. Yeah, so maybe good. that's a good way, and you know, like all government entities, everything <laughs> is, is always reviewed. Um, you know, maybe do simplistic comparisons to other things. You know. <laughs> well, not, not saying <laughs> this, but the thought has to be um, due to our bad winter, we're going to have bad roads for a while <laughs> yeah. because right. of funding. You know, it needs your thought process. Ones. Right, right. That infrastructure. <clears throat> yeah. Well, so, there also is the so fact that I think it, it, in the verbiage we need to, the undertone has to resonate. This is this is uh, 
This is not an entitlement. This is a, this is something an organization has come together this, to try to help facilitate this for the community. You're not entitled to it. I'm not entitled to it. Nobody's entitled to it. So it's a great. It's 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 right. it's a gift. A grant is a gift. Right. Just like you know, colleges vary from you know how many grants they give out. Lily will vary from how many grants they give and to how much and to who. You know, so this is never going to be. A, a, it's always the same. Right. Wow. It's, right. And we're going to do as much as we possibly can for whomever needs it at the time, and that will vary because life dictates. Right. Right. So what she's pulled up, that's that's the current website, the old website, and that's the FAQ pages on there. Yeah. And I, I think we can reuse a lot of these. Yeah. But not some of them are just. Oh, yeah, some really are, lengthy. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That's what I got. It's like overwhelming. <laughs> it's like who's going to read that novel? <laughs> At some point, I mean, even somebody who's very astute that's used to writing these things is still going to stop. So, you know what? I think I'm just going to call So, yeah. would right. you guys, I mean, I would like it, I guess, if you all would take a minute to read the novel and, and kind of tell me <laughs> a minute. Like, which ones you think, I mean, so we can kind of, or maybe maybe I'll just put a draft, maybe look at what is there now, and I'll propose a, a new version and email to you, and we can see what's missing from there with that one. And everyone could actually, uh, as homework, just get on that page and just read right, through sure. those and get a chance. Yeah. First off, I, I just as much as is, as much as is there, I I I'm, I'm betting those could be divided into at least three subcategories that they all fall under. So somebody could go to, well, I'm really specifically wanting to know how the construction takes place. So I want to know, I own my own construction business. Can I do this myself? Or some of the stuff yeah. you don't need a construction license to do. Can I self perform? Right. You know, all that. In, in construction requirements, all that stuff could be filed under those questions. There's five, so those five questions fall under this one subcategory to help narrow it down, so they don't feel like they have to read the entire page to find an answer. Because nothing's going to frustrate them more, as well as if they have a question and it's not covered in there, but they read the entire page, <laughs> and I get they got a call. And so if we could maybe try to group those. Group them, especially residential to commercial. That's an easy breakdown. Right. Okay, so we've thrown a lot of uh, stuff to you. <laughs> Does she have anything else? I've got lots of notes. Yeah, really. <laughs> 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 we'll miss sure? some, but. Okay. <laughs> Positive reputation okay. of due diligence just comes back to haunt you. Well, then, a big thank you goes out once again for all your hard work She's on this. She's the brains of the operation. Uh, and yeah, the three of you are that. really <laughs> <laughs> wearing multiple hats and we appreciate you. Backbone in this. Uh, I didn't do any of the websites. That's all them. Okay. Tax abatement hell this week. Sorry. I Any other final Three comments other that you need from us on uh, website direction? Let's we'll start with that and then. I think we get the project summaries if we can figure. I mean, because it's going to take us a while just to get those on there. And I do think what you said. I mean, that's something that's done. We're going already, so that's not going to change. Right. So we can start getting some of that on there and focus on that mainly and get the calendar updated. And I think that's going to be some of the exciting stuff too. Yeah, that's the fun stuff. If the agendas and the minutes and the financials are current on there, we've got a long way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just put February on there just so you can yeah. see it can be I'm done. But it's all. <laughs> I mean, that's better than what we had before. So. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Very good. So with that, let's move on to logo discussion. Um, what we talked about last uh, last meeting was that we did not like the logo and we wanted to come up with some other thoughts. So we challenged you to look at some of the common logos that are out there and see what you liked and what you what you liked about them. I know Brian's come up with some. If you could, you go to Franklin School's webpage. Some is a strong word. I came up with one with many variants of the one. Just because I promised to have something and I wanted to in design speak, that's some. <laughs> no, it's not. If you just change the color, it's two different ones. Why I wanted to bring that up, uh, I just went through this with the school. I'm on the communication committee for the school, and we spent about a year going over this logo. And we we had hired we had hired two or three different companies that we looked at different logos and we kept ban bantering it around and. I want to explain what we came up with here just to give you an idea of what we were going through for the process. Um, to begin with, we were challenged with, we were Franklin Community School Corporation, and 
we thought it was too long, so we dropped the corporation off there. And then we wanted to say, how does the, how does the logo represent the school? What's it tell us? So some of the subtle things you see there, the student-centered, innovative, those were keywords that we came up with when we were going through our who we are type, you know, what's our mission, what's our vision, all that type of stuff. And those were the words that we that had came out of that larger group. So that wasn't from the logo committee coming up with it. That was taking it from our leadership committee um, as we were doing that. And that consisted of the board and administration, some teachers, and also some parents and things of that nature. The uh, kite was really where uh, we had a lot of discussion because we wanted to make sure we tied it to Franklin Heritage and you think of Ben Franklin, you think of flying the kite and all that kind of stuff. So that that's where that came out of. And if you paid close attention to the um, to the kite, and these are some of the subtle things that people don't notice, but it might be subliminal. It's actually a mortarboard. It's, it's not actually a kite, it's a mortarboard uh, hat for graduation. And the tail is really the tassel that turns into it. So it kind of speaks to that. It's, it's, where it's located is behind, behind the IN to stand for Indiana. So those are the type of things that we were trying to, to accomplish by putting together um, that logo. So not just the, uh, here's what it looks like, oh, it's pretty, but what are the, the deeper messages in it? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I was thinking about the hub and everybody talks about the hub and spoke right. model mm -hmm. um, of the, you know, the FTC and the community partners. And so, um, and talking with um, Danny is on our design committee and he does a lot of that kind of stuff. And so he was the one that I had asked to help with maybe some logo ideas. And at first we had started like parts of buildings, you know, like a door or this, but then it was like, well, could be residential, could be commercial. And I, don't know, I don't know what that was. But then I thought of maybe like a gear or some kind of. I don't know, because of the hub and spoke type thing, that maybe that could be worked into it somehow, because I don't really know. I wasn't, It'd be fun to play with. I wasn't coming up with anything else to really inspire me as far as well, the another one, built environment that we're dealing with. And like they did when they jumped on the identity uh -huh. of Franklin. I mean, the town was named after right. Benjamin Franklin, and they went with the kite and everything with the mortar, right. and I think that's, that's just stellar. Um, I came up with first the fact that he was in printing, and mm -hmm. then I thought with the printing, that's what I worked mm -hmm. with. The next thing I was going to work with was the, the key, you know, because that's the electricity type that kind of thing. It could be like the key to the city, the key to the future, key to the development mm -hmm. of this community, key to your home, key to your business, yeah. key, key, key. Yeah. You know, so that's yeah. something I was going to work with. It's so easy to turn a skeleton key, an old school skeleton key, you know, horizontal with the, with the, with the teeth up into an F. Right. So I was going to mess with that a little bit, or put it in the position of the I, where you know to accent the Indiana aspect as well. It, it just I, that's that's my next okay. thing I'm going to work on. Is, is, so if anybody has any ideas along with that, or any other ideas whatsoever, let me know. I'll be happy to work on them. Okay. Um, I actually it's one of the few things I actually enjoy doing with my downtime that I actually could fit into my schedule. So. Because um, I'm stuck next to a computer. Anyway. And I think we, you look at the wording too. Do we need to put Franklin Development Corporation in it, or does it need to be FDC? What do people know us as? What will people person. identify easier with? You know, well, maybe talk about the a little bit too. Yeah. I really think we need to put the name and not FDC because there's, like we talked about last week, there's so many DCs. -E -E I mean, you know, we we can have people surf it in and looking for ACDC <laughs> karaoke night. Um, DC, DC, DC. That might be more fun. That would be more oh. fun. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, unfortunately, um, and I just, that's why I went ahead. I spelled it out, but the way I had it geared, it also says FTC. It says FTC twice, mm -hmm. basically, on the one I I like the idea with. of having it to where the F and the DC stand out so that you can see. Mm -hmm. They always need to be capitalized. That, that, yeah, so that that's, you can see. <clears throat> Oh, that's vertical. what that stands for. <laughs> that's why I did the vertical wordage. Yeah. And like I said, that's just a first-run draft by all means. Please, everybody. Uh, I'm not married to it, and I and I'm not. You know, it's not my it's not my baby. So beat it up and give me some ideas on how we can improve that if that's the one we end up going with, um, or what if we want to continue to further pursue it. But beat it up. Tell me what you think I should have did different. Thick, leather, 
grease again. <laughs> so it just sharpens me up. Did anybody else um, look up any logos that has nothing to do with us, but something that just stood out to you and said, you know, that's kind of, I like that, that's interesting? The play will lose every time. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I looked up a few, like I just said, Development Corporation. Mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah, they're not a lot. Houses. There's, yeah, I mean, they're mostly neighborhood. neighborhood. It's, it's e. photo stock imagery. Yeah. Or just plain font. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In many cases. And like, honestly, or, I mean, I tend to like a simpler logo. I mean, I, I, I don't know. A swoosh is a little too simple. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Something that's easy to put on a shirt or... Sign or Recognizable. That, yeah. That says not, develop Franklin. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me also state that I don't think we have to be pigeonholed into one logo. You can have a couple. You can have one that has it spelled out and everything, and then another one that is a hybrid of it but is more simplistic for things like on a shirt or something that can be seen and recognized at a distance where you incorporate the same characteristics like we were talking about the key earlier, where you know, or the, the reversed uh, so, printing printing tiles, or like you with a kite, you know, you could just have Franklin schools. So you're talking about basically the same logo, but without shadowing or something like that, so it's easier it's to... Maybe, really maybe like some cut out of it where you don't have Franklin Development oh, yeah. Corporation spelled out. Maybe that one does just say FTC, but they now recognize it because it has the attributes of the logo built into it, whether it be a key or kite or, or, or the, the, the printing pieces or something like that. They recognize it. Benjamin Franklin's face or something. Um, I always, at any time now, because we've had the same, and I know Chris hates the, the, the flag in the city, we've had the I same. Like the flag. You don't like the. I don't like the turkey head. Yeah. Turkey neck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, turkey neck men. We used to have the, yeah. I mean, that thing's been there since, crazy. I get, I, I'm assuming it's been there since they created it in 1923. Probably. Or 1823, excuse yeah. me. I mean, it's, it's been around. But so whenever I see a silhouetted bust of Benjamin Franklin or anything, and that is, he's probably the most utilized face in American history for a logo. I still think of Franklin, Indiana, because I'm like, well, that's our flag. And that is, like you said, you like things simple logo. That is a very simple logoed flag. It's just his bust, 19, or 1823 underneath it. And well, you know what we did at the school? We had the old logo that had been there for 100 years. And we were really worried about offending people by checking that out, but we knew we needed to. So what we did, we, we made that our school seal. Mm -hmm. And on official proclamations, yeah. it's, it's there. That's great. But we also have our logo. That's great. It's a good idea. Because they did things more that type mm -hmm. of... Yeah, because it was just an old oil lamp is what it was. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I completely forgot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that, yeah. So now it's the school seal, so it goes on proclamations. That's about it. <laughs> or is there a logo? The other thing is, is do, you know, does the EDC have a logo? No. The, the si well, it's just the Discover city, Downtown. The city Discover Downtown Franklin has a logo. It's, yeah, it's oh, yeah. the downtown. It's yeah, the, yeah, the back seat. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a nice logo. I think what we need to do is maybe look at all the other organizations within our community, like the school corporation, like like this, and maybe find some characteristics that are universal right. to try to just say, hey, we're one of, you know, I, I think it's a unique thing that our community has. So we have this college here, yet we really kind of have the same mascot. We have the mm -hmm. Franklin College Grizzlies and the Franklin College because it's named after the same guy who coached right. at both, you know, played at both. So, you know, they, so maybe we go, one of the things for some reason, this community has always identified with the, the same color. The, the colleges are the blue and the gold coloring. Way over the blue and gold, but you're right. Yeah, we can't go <laughs> with red. Oh, yeah. my God. It's, but that is, gold. that is, and that our community, colors, now, yeah. the gold <laughs> not necessarily may not be there, because the city colors are more of a blue and white, not a blue and gold, until the logo changed. But up until that, our flag is blue and white. Yeah. Because uh, that it comes from an era, honestly, it's just simplistic. Um, you used to have to pay extra for color and printing. You don't now. So uh, maybe we go with something. We got blue, for sure. Everybody's Have got blue. blue. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to use the blue. Well, we have to use a strong word. Yeah. But then again, when you think, and, and that's what I was thinking about, if, if when we go back to the Facebook page and we pull up all the different choices I've given everybody to look at on that version of that logo, 
there's a lot of them with the blue hint and the print because remember back when we well back when I was in school we didn't have photocopies of handouts we had dittos and they were all blue ink yeah. you know oh, it used to be too. blue ink it, it, it used to be a big deal where you weren't allowed to use blue ink in certain aspects because of printing so and it, there's a lot of nuances to the printing industry that we'll will eventually pick up on um, and can add into it kind of like they did so with the mortar board um, stuff like that for the record, what if we Christian? should ask? What if we should ask Franklin College if, if one of the students, a senior in graphic arts, would like to come and sit in and Give help and We've help tried that. design? Yeah. No, we tried. Yeah. We've tried. Really? We're, We're looking for this one right now ago. for PDF yeah. to for to do some uh, the little things about going into shop. the shops and videoing it for us. We can't even find. We can't even get one. For the record, oh. Krista. Mm -hmm. When I was on the board for um, Leadership Johnson County, I, right. we had the discussion, right. and I said, "I hate the swoops." <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have yeah. the, I have a cool desk. I have a coaster on my desk from being an LJC, mm -hmm. and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, LJC, FDC, yeah. mm -hmm. swoosh. I mean, it's cool. I don't like either. Well, is that where he got the swoosh? Though? That's probably where he. He took just it from. Him, him, he flipped it. You could also talk about it. We may have a. They have a right. yeah, yeah. Might be nice. Okay. We'll see Tina on Thursday morning. Oh, She'll be here for a meeting. So could you put a bug in her ear on that? I don't know. C9's out of Franklin, but our kids go to it. Right. Yeah. C9, yeah, this, I don't think C9 has that. It's FDC. It's not in the... Well, the most of our, our kids do go to it. Most of, our, it, most of the students at uh, Franklin aren't going to C9 for graphics. That would be going through the innovations class, which I've got contacts there, so we can put a bug in their ear as well. I think this comes down to we want to have a, the continuity between all the different branches with the same font style, the same list, or do we but want to... But that would be changing all them. They're not. Correct. You mean for us? For us. I think our brand is going to be our brand, right. and once we get to that point, we'll have to give input right. like simplicity, and, right. and then but once right. we once it's our stamp, right. that's it. Right. Along the lines of what you were talking about.